Blankets and Wine is East Africa's premier music experience designed to showcase outstanding artists and musicians. The 10th edition of Blankets and Wine was at the Uganda Museum last weekend. Our roving style cameras were around the corner to see the best and worst dressed at the festival. Welcome to the Style Project, shot on location at the Sylvia Wari store here at Garden City. My name is Sylvia Wari and I'm joined by the beautiful Clay Tetuhairi, who's a motivational speaker and businesswoman. Welcome, Clay. Thank you, Sylvia. Hi, guys. How are you all doing? And also joined by Solomon Tazibun, who is the fashion editor of the African Woman magazine and celebrity stylist. Hello, people. I'm glad to be back again. I hope you missed me. <laughs> this event is known for the fashion statement that people love to make, but first, let's take a look at the most outstanding looks. Oh, sure. <laughs> Starting off with Anita, Fabiola, I mean, first of all, what I can say is she got the dress code right. It is a fun day going out wearing, you know, rompers, but the problem is everything was in the wrong place. Her stomach was sticking out, she had cellulite all over the place. This we always say, guys, if you want to wear something short, cover up a bit of that cellulite. I mean, yes, she's beautiful, she was very smart, wrong, wrong body for that outfit. I love the pants. The pants have so much color. You know, it's an outdoor, out, uh, an outdoor event. So the pants are good for me. I'm not so sure about the, the top. Actually, it does, it makes, it's, it's the perfect combination for me. I'm not really uh, sure about the fit mm -hmm. of the crop top as well, but, it looks well put together. I, you know, for me, no, it's not. Because I'm thinking the top should be a much more for an evening dress. It's like she's cutting off a dress, uh, a, a, the little black dress, and then she's forcing it onto something that's casual. The pants are tribal print flared that should be worn with something, maybe a camisole top should be worn with something else. But I think she was trying, she was trying to. It was too much. She was trying too hard. It was a mismatch. It was the top supposed to go with something else and the mm. pants something else. There goes a lot of color. Solomon, you love color. I love, well, me, love yeah, color. Yeah, you do, oh, black and white okay, color. I'm wearing, <laughs> I'm wearing red pants to start with, but of course, oh, that's Diana, the, the stylist, right? Yeah. The one in the purple flared skirt. I wish she had just done away with the bag and the scarf. And for my friend in an orange dress, I would have preferred a little bit more length to it. And as for the girl at the extreme end with the uh, big white bag. <laughs> <laughs> the big white bag. The big white bag, of course. I'm confused as to what that was. Was it a skirt? Did it have like tiny, tiny, tiny shorts it, inside? Yes, it, it's probably a skirt. Malaika, I think I like, I like this look on her. She just wore very casual black pants. Uh, you know, I love the sandal thing going and the denim jacket. I think she was totally on point. I'm a huge fan of this look. First of all, because, well, the kimono throwovers are all the rage right now. And you know, fringe is also a trend that's hitting right now. I love this look for just the kimono and the sandals as well. I do not know what she had on underneath. I wish I did. But then to me, this is was really What would you put underneath? Hmm? A pair of shirts. Yeah, a yeah. pair of shorts and probably a camisole or something teeny tiny, of course, you want to show off. When I used to do Miss Uganda, it doesn't, doesn't matter what event you are going to as Miss Uganda. Everybody has to know that you have arrived. You come in with an entourage. If it means someone holding up a big pelican saying, Hello. Miss Uganda. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Sure. To show that I am the most beautiful girl and I've just arrived and check me out. I could not even, I do not, I cannot even notice this Miss Uganda until somebody said, oh, is that Miss Uganda? About which, I think she was totally forgettable. I see her trying to make an effort, you know, trying to make it sheer, showing us a little bit of skin, but come on. I mean, 
I did not know until they told me this was her anyway. I'm not so in for the head wrap because even underneath it looks like she's trying to match the head wrap with those patterns on her either skirt or shorts. I don't like the whole look at all. And those things she's holding in her hands, I don't know if it's still that kind of brand sponsor in Miss Uganda, but no. <laughs> She was endorsing. <laughs> when I look at all the people that we know uh, at Blankets and Wine, I think all these people so far have been trying so hard. And yet the ordinary people have pulled the look so well. Like this lady in red, she looks amazing. I love the A-lace dress, the hat, everything is just effortless. But look at that other lady function. walking away, that skirt, those, that print is so rare. I love the print. I love... It's a tribal you know, it's, print. It's so yeah. effortless. Everything right there is effortless and I love that because this is a Sunday, you know, people are just coming to chill. You're not pulling strings, trying so hard. Okay, Sheila. She became a, a social media joke. Facebook, Instagram, all over the world. It was, first of all, the dashiki thing, it's too much. The kitengi, we have, it's been around and around. That exactly same dashiki. She just went wild. She's like, she was a girl gone wild. wild. Literally. Sheila totally went wild. I think the outfit, she actually even did jack it off some Kenyan blogger because there was a girl that actually had the same outfit in the same print but different color. Yeah, so mm. she probably jacked it off STL and then she went crazy with the accessories. Look at the shoes. They are gladiators for, you know, these lace-up gladiators and then you have the body chain and then it's dashiki. Oh my God. And then you have the red hair. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Let's take a break. We'll be right back with more fashion from black it's a white. Welcome back from the break. We now continue with more fashion and blankets and wine. Lillian Babazi, I know it's very trendy for us, for, for Africa, for us wear all the kitenges and what. Lillian sometimes dresses like a 50 or 60 year old woman. In this outfit, she did not rock it for me at all. She, you know, she was like, Somebody was just coming out of the village somewhere in Maokota. <laughs> I'm sorry, this was not a dress for you for blankets and wine. We here, come here to show style and fashion and that dress did not do it for me. Clayth, what do you think about Didden? She's every year, she's been the MC. She has always been the MC and it looks like she's kept the color. She's always in yellow. Yellow shorts. Yellow, 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 she's still in yellow. I mean, we need to see a change. Let's see something else. You know, my uh, comment about Didan with this is like, that is how you wear shorts. You, you, you wear high tie shorts and show them off. And totally show off. <laughs> if Fabiola could just uh, borrow a leaf from Didan and just say, if Fabiola, if you want Didan size, then you can drop those shorts. But without that, please, don't wear those again. Oh, Joel, Joel Kamadi. <laughs> oh, oh my God, jo uh, that guy. What, 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 His what, partner was a suitcase. What's going on here? I know that they blankets and wine. I think. <laughs> it's like he's packed his bags and literally. Joel, I left home. Joel, one of your car, you are coming to blankets and wine to find a mate. <laughs> After, <laughs> I think what a better place to find someone to take home after a few glasses of wine. <laughs> you know, China walk sura kesiye. Going sangale ero kabita mide is who I'm going home with. Joel, <laughs> <laughs> guys, who do we have here? Irene Tale and the manager. But <laughs> Irene, who of the two is the manager and who is Irene? <laughs> I'm telling you, be careful when you're choosing your manager, Kumanga. <laughs> <laughs> she can dress better than you and outshine you. This is exactly what happened to Irene. Yeah. Look at how the manager is dressed in those gladiator, yellow gladiator sandals. That oh, the stunners. The stunners and the hair. The, the hair. hair. This is Irene's outfit. She must have stolen Irene's look. <laughs> <laughs> st the manager stole Irene's look. Irene is just dressed like that. She long shot stop. No one is even noticing her. I'm sure you are like probably saying to Vera, "Hi, Irene," <laughs> and then Irene saying, "Ah, uh -uh, I'm here." <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
I'm actually feeling this whole ensemble, the lady in a, uh, in a hijab inspired. That's how Muslims rock blankets and wine. Blankets and wine has created chance for people to bring all their kinds of ideas. Now look at this gomasi cut suit. It's orange. <laughs> It's not well tailored. I mean, the shorts have a bit of a big fly. I don't know if she's holding a hat or not, but I'm so glad she did not wear it because this has been the ugliest <laughs> outfit. She matched her whole gomasi look with the, with orange shoes, sandals. Well coordinated. No. Did you guys see how Tika Berry stand up? Oh my God, well, she time. had blue hair, mm -hmm. like blue hair. Her makeup was literally perfect. It's like you just grabbed her out of her Instagram and, and dropped her like yeah, it's sure. annoying. I did not see her outfit, but her hair, her, how, I actually her, love, her makeup yeah, was I, lo awesome. I love the outfit as well because she was wearing this whole button down shirt dress that was quite long. Then tiny uh, denim shorts and a, and a kami. But then it's like I love the, the, the shirt dress because ordinarily it's something that any other girl would not pull off well. You would not want to buy it and even want to put it on your body but she did and well i think the hair saved the whole example mm, anyway. and the makeup as well so it seems like kimonos are the latest trend and i don't know what gloria wafamuno was doing because her hair her kimono her flared pants her big soled flat shoes i just did not like the whole look gloria i did not like it one bit i think the whole look was flared everywhere. Mm. If she had gone for at least some hugging pants or something, but we all know Gloria and hugging, you know, body hugging pants can never be in the same equation like Thomas. So Helena comes in rocking a t-shirt with all her nipples out, shorts, Timberland boots. She actually dressed like the guy. And then Layla with her braids and her look, so it was like Okay, if you guys are speculating that if we are boyfriend and girlfriends, we'll show you. I'm the girl and she's the boy. She's the boy. That's a bit of a gossip for blankets and wine. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, these two guys, I'm like, there was, they should have been a Radio Sisters Closet Challenge of sorts. <gasps> hmm. <laughs> <laughs> radio Sisters Closet. Closet, like, come on. The shoes. Dudes literally stepped out wearing tops. Blouses. So I just, I just like do not get it. And what's even more interesting is that they were literally all over the place. You know, they, you could not miss them. Yeah, sometimes, well, at Blankets and Why we say it in the beginning of the show, that people come to show off their style, their outfits, their, outfits their wines, their moets. You know, no. everybody's literally <laughs> showing off. So they were showing off their blouses. Excuse me. <laughs> no, <laughs> like my, my sister is better than yours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's that time where we choose our worst and best dress in black and white. Clay, who was your worst? My worst dress was the fashion designer, Gloria Wafamono. Oh my God. I did not expect that, considering the fact that you're a fashion icon. People look up to you. Those flare flares were not called for at this event. My next worst dress was the Gomasi cut, cut suit, <laughs> the orange cut suit. I did, girl, I did not know where you are going. If your tailor was in a rush to finish up your, fab, your, your outfit, I don't know if that was just leftover fabric. It was just wrong, 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 bad. And I didn't even see your wine. <laughs> <laughs> and Solomon, who was your worst? Oh, obviously, my worst dress were... Oh, the, 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 the two guys that raided their sister's closet. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, at least ask first or something. Like, come on, literally. This was like, I just can't comprehend. I just can't, like, really. I also have two worst dresses. <laughs> Who are they? <laughs> My first worst dress was Sheila. Come on, Sheila. That was wrong. First of all, you're wearing a kitenge dashiki that is everyone is wearing. My and second, your second? <laughs> my second, <laughs> my second worst dress was the one and only Fabiola. Go back in the mirror, look at your sunlight. Go in the gym and run and work out. Next time, I want to see you wearing those shorts with no cellular. And yes. Solomon, who was your best dress? Of course, our Insta-famous celebrity, mm -hmm. Tink, yeah, there is. 
Uh -huh. I mean, the hair the girl hair. was serving, 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 serving. Yeah. She could not be missed in that hair, by the way. True. Whether you did not want to look, you had to see her. Mm -hmm. She was, and how she pulled that shirt dress, how she pulled it off was very, very, you know, it was very inspiring to me because it typically something that you would not want to wear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was my best dress at the event. My best dress was Irene Tales manager, Vero. She did a very good job. The hair, the standards, oh my God, the shoes, everything was just perfect. Oh, yeah. multi -talent. Okay, I can call with Clay. <laughs> my best dress for the blankets and wine was Irene Tales manager. The Style Project Award for Worst Dress goes to Sheila Gashumba. Mm. <laughs> the Style Project Best Dress Award goes to Vera, the real deal. <laughs> That's all we had time for on the Style Project. Be sure to catch us next week. Until then, bye-bye. <laughs>